Hey everyone, and welcome back to Skarvig in the Atlas. And I have this giant monstrosity of a gate, a channel, and a weird contraption behind me. And what I'm doing is I'm hunting the dragon. And there it is down there. Now this is probably design number five. Uh, I've tried a few different things and it hasn't really been working that great. But I've taken a bit of inspiration from a trap that was used for wyverns in Ark. And we're going to see if we can draw it up here, funnel it into the mouth, and below, uh, if it tries to turn, it should turn around the corners of this trap and get caught long enough for me to jump down and close the door. Once it's inside, it can't go anywhere and it can't hurt me. So, here it goes. Nope. Is that under? Maybe I did get it. Oh, nice. Eh, yeah, would you look at that. Oh, it's gonna glitch out and escape, isn't it? That's it, you attack it, it's stone. I can't tell if it's trapped or whether it's just glitching. That's incredible. It's an impressive sight nonetheless. <laughs> and gain a level. It seems trapped. It's just that its box is kind of in a weird position. I only hope it's trapped. I wonder if you can headshot. I guess we're about to find out. Wow, glitchy. Come on. Doesn't appear to be a headshotable. Well, I will probably speed this up so that uh, it's not just a boring video of me constantly shooting one bullet after another until this thing drops. But that's effectively what it's going to be now. Alright, uh, I noticed it's taken quite a long time to shoot this thing down, so I decided, well, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, let's build a baluster. Mind you, I've got to try and hit it with this thing, but... Yeah, so... The rate of fire is quicker, less accurate. Oh. Mind you, this isn't a legendary like my other one. It could be that if you had multiple people, this would probably be the faster method, really. Although I guess multiple people with carbines would probably do it. Don't like watching those things fly above me. Okay, the next thing to try, I've heard uh, this stuff. Ooh. That one. The swivel gun with canister shot is apparently pretty good. Slow reload, but yeah, 400 damage, that's pretty nice. Mind you, that's damaging my building, isn't it? Need to be higher with it. Hurts. I reckon that's probably killing my building. But yeah, if I built that swivel gun just a bit higher, it'd probably hit just the dragon. Alright, well, I guess I need to just keep shooting this thing, bring it down. Oh, right, so I don't know why I missed out on getting the lucky load of feet, and I don't know whether it's just stuck, or whether it's the intended use of the lucky load of feet, but um, 
Yeah, my loading speed is just going crazy. I'm loving it. And it just keeps going. Like it just doesn't seem to turn off. Don't need to do the game feed anymore. I can just keep shooting. Reload super fast. This thing is just about done. Gosh, it's glitching hard now. Probably trying to run away. Don't you breathe on me. So yeah, this has been a super, super effective trap. I'll um, give a browse of the trap once this thing is down and you can see what it is that I did to make this so effective. It's not going to be a sustainable solution. Obviously I'm a single player, so I have the freedom to kind of build these uh, fantastic builds. And that's all well and good. But the dragon spawns in multiple spots. Um, so you won't necessarily have the dragon respawn in the same place every time. And so you may be forced to kite it to where you want it, which might mean that your door isn't facing the right way. Oh, and there it is. Beautiful. Got my artifact key and everything. Alright, so I started off with a large stone gate. Uh, I have a row of foundations on the front here, sitting under... Oh, I nearly jumped off the edge there. Uh, there's a row of foundations that sits perfectly underneath the large stone gate. And then I just started using the, the gateways. Um, so these are wall pieces, and you can convert the wall piece into uh, pillars. So it's basically a doorway. And then I'm just stacking the doorways on top of each other. And so from that, I've built a square of foundations. Uh, you need foundation support for your walls. So I had to build a, a ring of walls all the way around, and I ran a small piece of walls running through the middle. I then put a channel, just basically one or two wide from, well, basically a gap between. It seems that I only put a gap of one between these stones and that one, whereas on the other side it's a gap of two. But you can sort of see that there's only a gap of one about there on that side, and maybe also on that side a, a gap of only about one, maybe, no, uh, this side might be a bit of two. But, you know, it's kind of equal. You, you're basically aiming for, um, a centralized pathway of foundations and some stone walls on the interior so the dragon flies in its turning circle is so large that it is forced to run around to the sides and so when it comes back around uh, it probably could run back to the gate but it wasn't so really it probably could have narrowed this inner part but it was still effective and yeah it constantly flies back and forth and as you saw it kept trying to get out and it kept getting trapped in these little side pieces up the top there trying to get out and although you can't actually see it here, um, basically so I just flew myself up there, uh, you can, I would suggest putting a ramp on the outside so that you can walk up to the top. Um, actually, I've still got some pieces. Let's get up there. Okay, and here's what it looks like from the top. Now, I filled in these little gaps so that it was not available for the dragon to fly through. And again, same on this side. And then just so that it, the dragon couldn't just fly straight through the top as it looked like it was going to at the start of the video. <laughs> Nuts. It's twitching out. Um, yeah, I put these ramps to meet with the door itself. And so that way as the dragon comes in it's forced to actually funnel down. And it looked like it was actually going to fly through that gap. But because of its hitbox it's always kind of sitting out of the, the stonework. Uh, and as it turned out it did actually get stuck inside. And I have my prize. So I have to say, uh, I was hoping to do something like this for the Hydra, and I still wonder now. With the, I had, I was thinking to myself, what is the point of these large gates? I mean, they've put them in the game, and you don't really get any tames that are going to be suitable for a gate that large. And so I thought to myself, what am I going to do with a gate that big? I mean, you could obviously do some kind of giant, fantastic castle build, but if you were to use it for a trap, you would be able to use it for the dragon. And that's basically what I did. Uh, obviously it's a pretty crazy build, uh, and that's before, you know, I'm playing single player, so I basically just made it happen. I don't know how you would do it on a server. Obviously if it's an unofficial server, you'd probably be able to get the resources, but on official, with the rates that you can farm materials, it might be a little bit not unsustainable. But if you could actually put it onto a map where your trap persisted, um, yeah, it probably wouldn't be so bad. At any rate, this is Scarvig, and it's been uh, Scarvig playing Atlas and taking on the dragon. And I will see you on the next one, uh, which will probably be me finishing up killing dragons and hydras and then jumping into either the ghost ship 
or the Kraken. Alright, catch you next time.